everyone, it's Mariah Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a stationary-esque tools haul, etc. I don't know really what to call it. So um, as all of us bullet journaling fanatics know, we carry our bullet journal with us. And we also carry pens with us um, pretty much at all times. Um, and since my trip to Montreal and really loving the vibe and really just kind of thinking about ways that I can be more eco-friendly, I decided to purchase a kind of canvas bag that I could use to carry stuff around in. So typically on a day-to-day -day basis what I carry around in here is um, books that I'm reading, my bullet journal, my pens. Um, currently I have decaf Earl Grey in here <laughs> on an umbrella which ironically has umbrellas on it thanks mom <laughs> um so this very cute bag is from Barnes and Noble and I got the matching pencil case for it um so for a while I just had a pencil case I purchased at Target it was strictly about function and it wasn't about how it looks or how it makes me feel and I just have hated it. I've hated it this whole time. So I was like, I just need a bag that's big enough to fit Tombos and um, all my little stuff that I carry and it's pretty as well. So this is the matching bag and all together I believe it was like $25 for both the bag and this. I am a Barnes & Noble member so I do get percentages off their products. So as you can see in here I have a quite a few products and it's still not even close to being full. I'd say it's probably maybe it's half full. Um, so I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about this. I love this material. I love how like industrial the zipper feels. It's just it's a vibe. It's, it's a good vibe. So, um, as you can see, Tombos fit perfectly in there with some wiggle room. I have my little clips for the corners because I'm an aggressive eraser. Eraser. <laughs> and my little eraser. Um, rulers. <laughs> Um, I do carry an X-Acto with me, um, for when I use washi tape or when I'm doing like Dutch doors type situations. And then this is my pen situation. So I guess I'll just kind of go into what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. So my overall theme for the year is pretty much black and white, but my auxiliary color is purple. So I carry the Tombow Twin Tone, um marker and then this is the 625 Tombow um, dual brush pen. Um, I carry two Faber-Castell Pit Artist brush pens, one in 220 light indigo and one 48 um, ice blue. So these are what I use for my yearly spreads um, and I actually did have to expand on one of them and I had to do a secondary page so I was like out and about and I did have use of these so I carry those with me as well as the Zebra Mild Liner in light blue. I specifically mostly use it this on my books spread like my reading spread. These reds are only in here because it's the monthly color so I carry those. Um, and then as far as like other yearly pens wise goes I have a zebra mild liner in gray and a uniball impact silver pen this one's almost out so I plopped a secondary backup in there um oh I'm sorry this is for my monthly spread as well this is the Pig pigma micron zero one red pen I got this in a multi-pack with different colors um so I use it for the title when I'm writing the day out it gives it a pop of color here, I can show you. Let's 
so you can just kind of like see that it just kind of gives it like um something I need something to separate the days or else I just can't find what I'm looking for oh I also have the black Tombow with me um that's an N15 um oh I almost forgot the white Signo impact gel pen so I use this mostly for mistakes a pencil and this is Bic Velocity 0.7 and then a variety of pit Faber Castell pit artist pens I have um, 1 comma 5 which we all know I used a lot in March medium fine the small one is on my bullet journal and then brush um, and then I also just have uh, Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel 0.7 pen in here as well. If I just sometimes friends ask for a pen, and I'm not giving my four dollar Faber Castell pen to anyone to have them walk away with it. <laughs> I literally had a friend who forgot to give me back my pen, and I literally texted her. I was like, I need that back. <laughs> That's my favorite pen. Um, yeah, guys. So I guess this kind of turned into like, what's in my bullet journaling. What are my bullet journaling pens or something like that? But yeah, so this says, yeah, she reads and it's in a beautiful cursive script. And that's the same saying that's on the bag. But I also like that I can flip the bag over and it has this, just this simple decal on it. And that can be on the outside as well if I don't want to have any kind of logo showing. So yeah, um, that's it for today, folks. I'm going to go film my plan with me for June. So <laughs> exciting. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.